Hey, Corey here, Canadian RC guy. Well, we got the modified back in the shop. This week, we're going to start setting this thing up so she turns a heck of a lot better. Give us a minute, we'll flip this camera around and we'll show you what we're doing. Hey, welcome back. It's finally time to start doing some setup to this modified. There's a handful of free things you can do that will start making this thing turn left a whole lot better. We've got a list here. We'll post a picture of it up uh, here in the video, so that way if you want to pause it, take a picture, write it down yourself. I'm not saying these things are for everyone. This is just what we're going to do. I'm sure there's other things that you might want to do. And if there's things you think we should do, drop those down in the comments. We'd love to try your suggestions. But this is just the first few things that we know we can do straight out of the box for free. So number one, we're going to switch the right side wheel hexes. We're going to take the gray one from the back and put it in the front and the black one from the back or from the front and put it in the black. They're just a little bit different, different sizes. We'll show you as we get going. There's a reason for doing it. So the right front shock mount, we're going to take that to the outer hole and the left front shock mount, we're going to take that to the inner hole. And that's just going to help lean that car a little bit and get it turning left a lot better. And with the shocks, the front shock collars, we're going to make sure they're cranked all the way up. And then the right rear shock collar, we're going to turn that halfway down and the left side all the way up. And once again, we'll show you a little bit better once we get the body off and tires. That's just going to help give it a little bit of a leftward lean. And there's one other thing that we think we can do for free right out of the box to help with the setup with this car. But we'll save that for the last. So give us a few minutes. We'll get the body, the tires off. And we'll start making this thing a whole lot better. So the first thing that we're going to be doing is taking these hexes, the one from the front here, the gray one then the black one from the back, and we're gonna be swapping them. There's just a little bit of a size difference, um, so that way, moving the front one to the back helps push that tire out a little bit, and then uh, taking that one from the back and moving to the front helps push that tire in a little bit. Obviously, we're gonna do it on the right-hand side, not the left that I was showing you there, but uh, pretty simple. We just take a little flat screwdriver and just give it a little bit of pressure and just kind of pop it out, and there is gonna be a little pin in there you can either leave it in there or uh, it'll drop out. Same thing on the front. Just give it a little bit of a pressure. Pop her out. Little pin. Make sure you don't lose it. You'll need it. Oh, little Sorry, hard to see there, I guess. The way the camera angle is. There's a little pin there. Make sure you have that. So if you can see the difference in size here. So that's why we're doing this. It's just going to push it out a little bit and uh, suck it in a little bit. So obviously there's a little spot in the back there. Hopefully you can see it. That's where the, the uh, pin lines up. It just takes a little bit of pressure to, to get her in there if you need to. You can use your screwdriver to get that pin in place. And there we go. We'll get this pin put in the back here. Or we'll just drop it either way. There we go. Oh, don't want her to fall out. Get that axle turned sideways. And same thing, just line up your slot. Use your screwdriver if you need to to get her lined up properly. And then just press it back in. Pretty simple, nice and easy. And like I said, all that's gonna do, push that tire out a little bit, suck that tire in a little bit. It's really gonna help you turn left. So the next thing we're gonna do is on our right front shock mount, we're gonna take this one and make sure it's out to the outer hole, which it actually, it already is. So we're lucky on that one. We don't even have to do anything there. And our left front shock, Left front shock, we're going to move it to the inner hole. So give us a couple of minutes. We're going to grab our tools. We'll get that done. It's pretty simple. All you have to do is take that screw out, move her over, put her back in. We'll bring you back when we're all done. So there we go. Like I said, this one was on the outside. So right hand side on the outside, left hand side, we've moved it to the inside. And that once again is just going to help it give it that little bit of a, a lean and ready to turn. So the next thing we're going to do is our front shock collars. They're probably going to come down a little bit. We're going to make sure, twist those all the way up. 
You want to get as much travel as you can. Get some good uh, compression out of these shocks. And really feel that track. So cranking these all the way up is definitely going to help a little bit. Get those cranked up here. There we go. Got them cranked all the way up to the top. Easy peasy. Now we'll spin around to the back. And what we're going to do for the right rear shock collar. So that's here. We're going to crank that one halfway down. So you can see it comes not quite halfway down. We're not going to measure it, but we're going to crank it a little bit more. About halfway down. And then on the left side, spin it around here so you can see. We're just going to crank this one all the way up. But technically, our springs aren't long enough to do that. So we're just going to crank it all the way up to where the spring is still tight. We do have another set of springs coming for this thing. Um, unfortunately, it won't be box sock by the time we get done with the next video on this thing. But uh, <clears throat> it's definitely going to help it run a whole lot better. So on the left, like I said, we're just going to do it. So that way the spring has no movement in there. At least it's got some good compression. It's going to hold it in place. Now, the next thing is going to be not really a setup thing, but it's definitely going to help you run. So give me a minute. We're going to get the tires put back on this thing and the body on. I'm going to show you what we're going to do. So the last thing I want to talk to you about on this car that we're going to change from box stock. Um, it's not really a setup trick. It's just more of a something that makes it a lot better. I'm sure lots of you know if you've already run these cars or you've heard online. But trim this body. As you can see, it gets caught constantly. Um, the front's not quite so bad, but still trim it a little bit. It does it on both sides. I'll spin her around. You can see it over here. It's on the front even worse than it is on the back. That's just because we've done the setup there on the other side. But uh, So that's going to be the last thing that we want to say to for any beginners or anyone new with these cars. Um, trim that body. That's going to be number six on our list. So give us just a minute. We're going to trim ours up. We'll show you what it looks like, and then we'll take it back on the track, give it a few laps, and see if it runs a little bit better. All right, so here we go. After our trimming, um, you can see we didn't really have to take off much. I think we lost one piece on the floor there. But you can see it makes a huge difference down in here. No more scraping. Um, no more rubbing. Same thing over on the other side. We just gave her a little trim here and just a tiny bit on the front. And that's just going to help keep that body away from those tires. Um, and one other thing I was going to mention, make sure you remember when... Uh, when you put your car back together, anytime you're putting your tires on, these are directional. So make sure your angles are facing up towards in the side of your car, both front and back. That way you know you got your tires on in the right place. All right, so give us a few minutes. We got this battery on boil. We're going to run out to the track out back, turn this a few laps, and see if it's any better than it was last week. Hopefully it is. Then next week, we got a whole lot more to come. We'll talk about that when we're driving it around the track. Well, we made her out to the back track. I don't know if you can see by that sky behind me. Um, we got some rain coming again. Been that kind of week, unfortunately. But uh, we'll take it for a little walk here and show you what we did get done this week. Hopefully you can see the yellow behind us there. But we got, uh, we got some walls put up on our corners. So that way we can really get the, uh, the edges banked up. So we can really come in and hammer these corners hard. Um, we got the same thing down here at this end. Just some old wood that we had, some stakes, that kind of thing. Nothing big, but we got some nice walls put up down here. We got it banked up really nice. Um, I think we're going to find some wood, buy some wood. We'll see. We may do the walls here. And I think the next thing we might do is get rid of this grass in the center. That'll kind of let us open up this track a little bit more. We'll build a wall or do something in the center as well just to keep it separate. But uh, we'll get this camera put up on the tripod, do a few laps, and see if these adjustments and changes... Help this thing turn left a little bit better. All right, let's see if this thing handles and turns a little bit better here. Definitely does down at that corner. Oh, now yeah, I, I definitely say it definitely turns a lot better, that's for sure. I'm not sure if some of the banking helps. The track is track is still a little bumpy we got some work to do as always this uh the poor rain isn't helping us any oh sorry the bugs are getting at me there oh 
Oh, a little bit bumpy there, threw us right into the corner. I think, uh, I think with the next few changes that we're gonna do to this car, it's really, really gonna help it out. Um, for the next video, we're gonna uh, pull that dip apart, get all that grease out of there, that heavy, heavy grease, and uh, change it up with something a little bit better. And then uh, we've got some springs coming on the way. Um, we're gonna change it up to a softer springs in a couple of different places. I think that'll really help make, the, make this thing turn. And then uh, we're also gonna change some shock oil. So that should really make a difference as well, kind of soften things up. But uh, I have to say these free changes, I guess that you could do for setup, they really do make a difference on this thing out of the box stock. Um, it is driving a whole lot better than it was last week, that's for sure. Um, give me a second, I'll uh, put the camera back on our controller here and see if I can get you a few better shots of it turning and driving around the track. See if we can get a few better shots here for you while we're driving. Not gonna lie, we're not very good at filming and driving here. Right off the wall. Right up on the side. Definitely turning better, I have to say. What I mean, we're just taking some good slow laps, nothing super fast here, but she's doing pretty good, I have to say. Oh, a little bump off the corner there. Back on the track. Oh, a little bit there. A little bit, the, uh, definitely, you know, the more practice we get with this thing and more practice we get filming as we're driving, uh, the better we'll get for everyone. All right, well, before we get any rain on ourselves, we'll finish this video off, I guess. So give me just a second. So as always, thanks so much for watching. We still got lots of track improvements to do. Our next video, we're gonna be doing more to this car to help it turn left, doing the differential. We got some springs to do, we got shock oil to do, maybe even a few other things. But thanks so much for watching. If you're not already a subscriber, please hit that subscribe button. It helps us out a ton. Uh, if you have any comments and other things you think we should do to this car for setup or anything like that, tires, who knows? Let us know. Drop those down in the comments. And if you could, give us a big thumbs up and share this video to all your friends because it helps us out a lot. Thanks so much, and we'll see you again next week.